I'm Jonathan Noel. And I'm Brian Noel. This is the Focus Cast, where we reduce distractions, increase focus, so we can live a life with, with intentions. intentions. Nice, bro. Today is a product video. Ooh. And this is a product one of us, mostly you, <laughs> use yes. every single day, right? Yes. And what's important to know, we're not sponsored by this brand. Right. But we want to be. Yes. <laughs> because. This is a mushroom coffee, yes. a coffee substitute. Yes. And after trying several brands, yes. this became your favorite, right? Absolutely. And you tried all the big ones. I tried Mud Water and I tried Everyday Dose. So okay. today we're gonna spend more time on Everyday Dose because that's what I've been using for uh, three months. Perfect. And for this one, you you love coffee, right? Yes. So you think that this one's probably more approachable for people who actually like coffee. No, that's the biggest distinction. Okay, that's the biggest distinction. Between mud water and everyday dose, in my opinion, mud water did the same thing to my brain. Okay. But from a flavor standpoint, if you're not a coffee drinker and you don't really like coffee, try mud water. So we're not we're not openly saying anything bad about mud water. No, no. It, it had the same effect. It lit my brain on fire just as much as everyday dose. Nice. This is a flavor thing. Yes. I like everyday dose. Mm. It tastes like instant coffee. Yes. It actually, in my opinion, it tastes pretty freaking good. I think it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we're going to try some too. I forgot what I was going to say. What were you um, going to say? <laughs> all right, whatever. Um, yeah, we can just cut all that out. My next question. Yeah. Why the mushroom coffee anyway? <laughs> okay. I used to be one of those people that would get the venti yeah. black and drink that at like 6 p.m., 8 p.m. Like I just would drink coffee all the time. Maybe six, seven years ago, I actually tried to sleep in my life. Right, you just, you realized maybe drinking big coffees at six o'clock was affecting your sleep. Yeah, and I used to be the person that'd be like, oh, I can drink tons of coffee and sleep fine. But- <laughs> You were lying to yourself. Yeah, I mean, I've never slept good. So <laughs> um, I don't know what the f but um, anyway, I don't even know how I found mushroom coffee. It was probably blog Instagram or ads. Instagram ad or something yeah. like that. So I tried it. Honestly, like within 15 minutes, it set my brain on fire. So I could feel, I could feel the immediate differences and that's what pulled me into it to keep trying it. Mm. But yeah, so I, I, I reduce coffee. I drink about a half a cup around 637 and then I'll come into the office around eight or nine or so. And then you'll have some. Yeah, I'll drink a cup of If this. you're drinking coffee all day, it probably increases your tendency for anxiety. For me, excessive caffeine just makes me feel kind of like... Gross. Yeah, it just makes me feel gross. Yeah, absolutely. Like my stomach feels acidic. I don't even know how that feels, but if I know, you know what you, you mean. Know, yeah. When I get tired, yeah. like around two or three, when I drink coffee all day, yeah. I like want to die. I'm so tired. Yeah. So let's hit a couple benefits. Yeah, because um, we've had an episode on the Focus Cast where we talk about some mushrooms. Yeah, I think we called that one uh, Rishi Fungus and Focus, which <laughs> was one of my favorite titles. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, fungus. <laughs> this is actually the mud water, the mud water stir stick. Or whatever. Yeah, anyway. they can sponsor us too. I don't care. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, it's it works. That shit works. <sighs> Look at that. Mm. Oh yeah, get a close up of that, bro. It actually looks really cool. The table. This is like a super spinner. Whoa. Yeah, we'll definitely be chopping this up, which is fine. Get the mushroom mud. Oh, yeah. That's hot as <laughs> I can't even sip that yet. This just came from boiling. <laughs> okay. So what are some benefits of the mushroom coffee? They're using some of the medicinal mushrooms yeah. that are known for to increase cognitive function. Yes. So we've got boost immune system. So certain mushrooms, reishi, chaga, contain beta glucans. Sure. Which are known to boost the immune system. Drinking mushroom coffee may help support. Oh, so just so y'all know, this is the language straight from everyday dose. So it boosts immune system. Perfect, makes sense. Reishi, Reishi mushrooms have been used medicinally, yeah. whatever, in China forever. Forever. Lower inflammation. You know, we talk about all the time on the Focus Cast that our brains are so inflamed because all the crap we consume all the time. Yeah. So I wonder if the focus not only comes from an elevation of something, but reducing but inflammation. Reducing inflammation, and the brain's like, "Hey, oh, that's shit, nice. I haven't I felt that. I, see. I haven't felt that since I was." <laughs> yeah. It's like, holy, f what is this? Yeah. Improves brain function. Yeah, it does. Lion's mane. Lion's mane mushroom. <laughs> which is believed to have cognitive benefits and may improve brain function. If you want to dig deeper in this, look at anything by Paul Stamets. He's the mushroom guy, oh, nice. but he talks about taking lion's mane mushroom. 
he makes supplements with the mycelium. He yeah. takes it every day. Oh wow. Because it's supposed to help the tips of the neurons or whatever. Yeah. Protect them. Sometimes I put just chaga, straight up chaga powder in my tea. Mm. Because why not? Why and not? I, when I want when we're having a morning where we're, you know, if we're recording or we're talking a lot, I just want that extra boost. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It also reduces stress and anxiety. Reishi mushroom is no the reishi mushroom is known for the calming and relaxing properties. What they're trying to accomplish here is is <laughs> not the calm the, focused <laughs> state. Not the manic, <laughs> over caffeinated, <laughs> stressed out in traffic, about to lose your mind and drive into the guardrail state not of mind. That. That was on the packaging. <laughs> they don't want that. <laughs> Just kidding. Rich in antioxidants. Nice. Uh, mushrooms are rich in antioxidants, which help protect the body from oxidative stress and free radicals. Yeah, got to get rid of those free radicals. You really do. Yeah. So that's how cancer manifest or starts. I pulled Everyday Dose. One of the Q and A's on Everyday Dose said, "Why choose Everyday Dose over mud water?" So no, this is Everyday Doses point of view of why you should choose them over the other one. First of all, mud uses mushrooms blended with oats. Dose uses 100% fruiting body mushrooms. Fruiting body is just the fruiting body, the actual body of the mushrooms. So I wonder if everyday mm. dose ends up blending some of the substrate or something in there. Maybe. The mud does not have a mushroom extraction process. Dose does a double extraction. So I actually know about a double extraction because I've done this before. There's compounds in mushrooms that are water soluble and some are soluble with alcohol. So a dual extraction means you soak them in alcohol first to release the alcohol soluble compounds. Mm. And then you basically make a tea with them. Shit, bro. Or whatever, you, you use water to get the rest. Yeah. Mud does not include collagen, dose does. It also mentions that mud water does not include L-theanine. Yeah. So we know about L-theanine. Yeah, we talked about that on the podcast. L-theanine is in green tea as well. Mm. It's actually kind of relaxing. It's it's the kind of yin to the yang of coffee mm. or of caffeine, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's why when you're drinking green tea, it's a little bit of a different caffeinated feeling yeah. than coffee. And I noticed a difference. Mm. Yeah, it is interesting because honestly, it's like an alertness, but it is like, it's chill. It's not manic because true alertness takes calmness as yeah. well. Um, okay, yeah, so mud does have caffeine. Mud has 35 milligrams of caffeine per cup, and dose is 39. Now, what did we say an average cup of coffee is 80 to 100? Uh, maybe. So we're talking about about half. Half a cup of coffee worth of caffeine. Okay, okay. Their next thing they say, uh, dose tastes amazing, which again, amazing is uh, subjective, but mud tastes like cardamom, chai, and turmeric. And is that the flavor they're going for in mud? And that's why if you're not a coffee drinker, you might like mud better because it does have that more like a tea flavor. Okay. This shit lights my brain on fire. And that's the whole point. Yeah. I feel like my brain's melting right now. <laughs> <laughs> like it just, it's, it's great. Cheers. Mushroom coffee. You even have a mushroom mug. That's so cute.